Okay, this is Mr. Stewart with um, quiz 2.0. There's actually two quizzes that are 2.0 quizzes. Uh, the first one is about exponents. The second one is going to be about scientific notation. This is an extension to the regular 7th grade core. And so uh, most likely you'll only be seeing this if you had passed your previous course, uh, your previous quizzes or your math 7 honors. Uh, but for now, let's just begin quiz and talk about it. There's five questions. Um, we will have discussed this in class, but if you're looking at this, uh, this is a 5 to the ninth power multiplied by 5 to the 7th power. I'm going to make up another question that's similar um, that, um, that maybe works for this. I could do, let's see, 4 to the third power, I'll say, times, um, I'll say, 4 to the fourth power. Okay. Now, the reason we can actually combine these two is because the base happens to be the same. So the only reason we can actually do anything with these two is because we have two fives here. And if you look at this, We've got a 4 to the 3rd power and a 4 to the 4th power. If we were to expand this out, this is what this would look like. 4 times 4 times 4. And then that is being multiplied. That entire thing is being multiplied by, we'll expand this one out as well, Okay, 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. Well, as long as these are all just being multiplied together and they're all the same base, we can just think of this as a 4 being multiplied, repeated multiplication, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times. So we could think of this as 4 to the 7th power. This is simplified. We've, we have simplified the expression. We've made it a little bit easier. So a quick rule, if you think about exponents, is just saying 4 to the third power times, uh, I'm sorry. So if you say 4 to the third power times 4 to the fourth power, what you can, what you can do is you can think of this as 4, the same base, being raised to the third power plus the fourth power. So this is kind of the rule that people talk about. I don't really think about it as rules. I just like people to understand what's happening here. But uh, if you think of this, 4 to the 3rd plus 4th is actually 4 to the 7th, and you're done. So you'll just need to evaluate your own. Okay, question number 2. Just because they're negatives doesn't change anything about what we just did. I'll make one up. Um, we'll start here. I'll say, okay, I've got a negative. I'll just do something simple. Negative 2 to the 2nd power times times a negative 2 happens to be the same base so you can actually do this okay to the I don't know 10th power doesn't really matter again this is just expanded out so this is this is saying this is saying a negative 2 times a negative 2 and then that would be multiplied by a negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, on and on and on until you do that 10 times. But instead of writing all that out, now I understand since they're just the same exact base, I can just say this is a negative 2 being multiplied twice plus another 10 times, so 12 times total. And so this would be negative 2 to the 12th power. By the way, we would get the answer to be a, it's going to be a positive answer a negative being raised to an even number. So, but this one you'll have to evaluate on your own. Think about it. And we'll go on to the next one. Okay. All right. And um, simplify the expression. Write the answer again. Just simplifying. Just understanding. It doesn't matter what is here. It just doesn't doesn't matter at all. Is if they're the exact same thing which these are, you know, 4 sevenths is the same as 4 sevenths, then really you already know how to do this. And, and again, I'll make one up. We'll just do 1 one half to the second power times 1 half 
to the third power. These happen to be the same base, so this is just going to be one half times one half. That takes care of this one. And then this is going to be one half times one half times one half. So now you're just thinking, okay, I've got five one halves being multiplied together, so wouldn't this just be one half? to the fifth power. So even fractions are rational numbers, decimals, it doesn't matter as long as the bases are the same, the exponents can be added together. Okay. All right, so question number 4 says simplify the expression, write your answer as a power Okay, so again, it's going to be helpful to expand these out. Fortunately, fortunately, we're working with, again, the same bases. So this is a negative 16 being raised to the seventh power. This is a negative 16 being raised to the third power. I'll make up my own example. I'll do a negative 2 being raised to the third power, I'll say, all over a negative 2 to the second power. I'm going to keep it simple, but this is going to show you. I'm going to, I'm going to expand this out so you understand what's happening here. A negative 2 on the numerator times a negative 2 times a negative 2 all over a negative 2 times a negative 2. No, it's just to the second power. So in case that looks a little weird there. Okay. Just to the second power. Okay. So in division, anything that's the same in the numerator and the denominator can can be canceled out. I'm not even going to I'm not even going to multiply this out. I mean you can and we can show this to you. I guess I could. A negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4 times a negative 2 is a negative 8. So this is a negative 8 all over a negative 2 times a negative 2 is a is a positive 4. Okay. So that would that would leave me with um, uh, 4 goes into negative 8 a negative 2 times. So that that would give me this answer here. But this is just asking me to write, write, simplify and write it as a power. So we're not needing to find the answer here. What we're actually thinking about is how, how are these canceling out? If you think about uh, 1 negative 2 in the numerator divided by 1 negative 2 in the denominator is going to go to 1. So we can say that there's a, one, there's a, there's a cancellation uh, when you have any number divided by itself, it cancels out to 1, and anything multiplied by 1 is just itself. So those sort of cancel each other out. So this also cancels this out. And what am I left with? I'm just left with a negative 2 in the denominator. So I would write this as negative 2 to the first power, if I were writing this as my answer in power form. Um, but that's also the same as just saying a negative 2. That's the same thing. So you'll want to evaluate yours, and you'll need to write yours as, as, as a power, using, using power. And here we go with the last one. Again, so this is just S, or it might be 5, I don't know. It doesn't matter. If it was S or 5, we just know they're both the same thing. They're the exact same thing. So I'll make one up. I'll, I'll even do it like this. I'll say A. I'm not even going to give you a number this time. I'll just say a to the to the eighth power all over a to the I don't know second power. I'll do that. Okay. And if I'm if I'm going to expand this out, this is a times 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 a. All right, it's so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then I put that over the numerator. So I'll put that in green here. I'll say, okay, this is a times a. But um, So we've just got a bunch of the same numbers in both the numerator and denominator uh, being multiplied together. So you can take a 1 divided by 1, an a divided by a, and that goes to 1 another a divided by another a, and that goes to 1. Whatever I'm left with here can be rewritten as a power. So this is 
This is going to be equal to a to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6th power, and I'm done. So this is my example you'll want to solve or evaluate using yours. That should be everything. Um, make sure you review your answers before you submit, and uh, thank you.